Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Saeed. I am from Superior University. I am a field scholar. Uh, today we will learn about the panel unit root test. So guys, uh, panel unit root test is same uh, like uh, time series but a little bit different. So I have my data set dragging on EVOS 9. I am using latest version of EVOS. Finish. You can see I have my variables, my first dependent variable and all remaining independent variable, independent 1, independent 2 and independent 3. So uh, why we need to test about the stationarity of the variables? First of all, uh, if I am talking about the time series data, we mostly select our uh, econometric methodology or uh, statistical method on the base of the data stationarity. Suppose if all the variables are stationary level, we go for the uh, regression model and suppose if my all variables are stationary at first difference, then we go for the uh, co-integration. So guys, uh, actually I have panel data and I have more than 20 years and whenever we have our data set uh, having more than 20 years, uh, data shows time series properties but uh, I'm not going into the depth I'm simply uh, talking about the how we run panel unit root test and uh, why uh, what is the logic behind the uh, checking the stationarity of any variable actually guys if we have non stationary variable if we have non stationary variable in this case uh, maybe uh, mostly chances maybe we get a uh, nonsense results known as spurious results spurious regression so to avoid from nonsense results uh, spurious regression we must check before any statistical test uh, stationarity of variable uh, so I uh, suppose my dependent variable uh, I have opened it now, uh, now, now I want to check the uh, unit root so guys uh, I open my variable then go to view then unit root uh, as you know I have panel data so this type you can select anyone but in panel data it's good for you for the double check or keep summary and now uh, asking from you uh, you want to check stationary at level first difference or second difference so I would like to check a uh, unit root at level means I want to see either my raw, uh, raw data is stationary or not so always good for you include intercept and friend from here uh, saying uh, your uh, by default uh, uh, leg selection criteria is Schwarz, Schwarz information criteria and you you have no need to change anything so simple keep uh, by default summary but uh, if you like uh, only one test like a leave one and I am and so you can choose single one but it's good for you to keep summary from here so friends uh, we are checking a uh, unit root in the level form uh, by default is level and from here I change intercept uh, okay uh, my uh, null hypothesis there is a unit root null hypothesis short form ok friends as I choose summary uh, in summary I have different tests like Lehman Chu, Bruting and IM Pisaran, ADF and PP so what is the rule of thumb uh, actually normally uh, authors keep uh, one or two so I normally choose Levin and I am Pisan. So friends, uh, if I talk about Levin test, according to Levin, probability value is more than five percent. So when our our probability value comes more than five percent, we accept null hypothesis. So here I have to accept null hypothesis, and it uh, mean there is a unit root so unit root mean there uh, my data is not stationary whenever your probability value comes more than five percent it means uh, your data is not stationary at uh, five percent 
So friends, uh, if I talk about the IM Pisaran, so again probability is probability value is more than five percent. So means uh, there is a unit root means my data is not stationary at level. So uh, what to do? Again go to view unit root. Now I would like to check uh, on first difference, and again I add intercept. Okay. Now you can see according to Levin my probability value is less than 5% so I can reject null hypothesis means uh, now my data is stationary and if I talk about I am PSR so again probability value is less than 5% means uh, there is uh, no unit root. So guys uh, if you like only uh, if you like apply only one uh, test like uh, you are interested only Levin so it's equally efficient and if you want to add more than one uh, test or method you also can it's all up to you. normally uh, if i talk about uh, myself i use always two uh, for the double check uh, further if you uh, need only one uh, test like a leaven uh, pisar and, and adf you can use only one so now friends uh, a question comes mind uh, why uh, if i can check the stationary on the base of leaven why there are so many other uh, tests so I have simple example for you. I was reading a paper in which I read LLC Levin test. LLC Levin test. Levin test accounts for heterogeneity. But Levin test uh, has a weakness and that is in the small sample size. It's neglect serial correlation. So whenever we have small data set LLC Levin test uh, ignore serial correlation even take into a, a hydrogenity but ignore serial correlation but if I talk about IPS IMP Saran test it's also take into account heterogeneity while even we have a small sample size it covers serial correlation as well as so guys that's why we have need to, of um, other many uh, statistical uh, tests to check about the uh, stationarity of data so um, each test have some uh, flaw and some uh, weakness to overcome the weakness of first uh, method we generate second method so that's why we have uh, different methods so we can choose even a single one or for double check we can use more than a one test so now how we can uh, how we can adjust uh, results of these results into our thesis or uh, uh, article so guys uh, the table is from my article uh, right here unit root uh, method I'm talking about Levin here write uh, your uh, level form results t value and p values here my first dependent variable t value p value at level then uh, i mentioned here that uh, results of first difference t value and p value these are results according to Levin. and for the double check as i use i am pisaran as well so again i am pisaran here results of i am pisaran at level form and result of i am pisaran at first difference form and these are results one indicate variables are stationary at first difference means my dependent variable is stationary at first difference again my uh, other independent variable is stationary at second difference uh, sorry first difference but if I talk about my second independent variable which is stationary at level so there is a mixture of stationarity so guys uh, again uh, one thing more i add individual intercept and trend uh, if you think your variable is not stationary uh, after adding this intercept you may also apply with this and if you think uh, now also your variables are not stationary you also can try with here so it's uh, all up to you but it's better if you use third uh, central option so guys i hope sure you enjoyed this video thank you so much for being with me take care